Earlier this week, we had a chance to meet with PlayStation R&D Senior Director Richard Marks for a hands-on demo with Project Morpheus, Sony's attempt at making a virtual reality headset. Unlike its competitors, which require a high-end computer or slot into a phone, Sony's headset is powered by the PS4. So now go ahead, you can grab the whole front and move it around over your eyes to get a clear image. I have way too much hair. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we so go. So like, when you, if you try moving it up and down a little bit, you'll see it go in and out of focus. Give you some headphones. Yeah. Okay. You can put those over your ears yourself. No, frisbee game going across. So you can try, if you want, try to lean all the way into the world with them. Like, just get right, yeah. It's just kind of crazy how you can feel like they're right there, you know. Wow. The resolution, the fact that you can see little things happening on their screens, yeah, that's intense. Yeah. The latest PlayStation is essentially a mid-tier gaming PC from 2013. So based on my time with Oculus dev kits, I guessed going into the demo that performance might be an issue. In VR, low frame rates or inconsistent tracking can make you nauseous, so pulling this off is key. It turns out that with clever lighting and smaller environments, the PS4 doesn't have trouble rendering VR experiences that look like modern games without stutters. One of the fun things Sony's experimenting with is positional audio. When you move objects around that generate sound, like an in-game cell phone, the sound moves around in your headphones. With more than 20 million PS4s already in people's homes, Sony has a leg up on competitors relying on PC gamers. The PlayStation Move controller makes experiences more immersive. It let me open drawers naturally and fire a gun by actually looking down the sights instead of pointing a crosshair. Cartridge? Yeah, magazine. Yep. Whoa. Yep. That's really intense. Mm. Okay. I'll just put that back. Uh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> you won't, oh, it's you won't just drop the gun. Now. You won't drop, yeah. Where is he? Oh. Got him. Oh, there's the guy. Oh, now you got him. <laughs> nice. So that was exactly what I was hoping <laughs> VR would be like. Uh <laughs> I think Sony has nailed the headset and software experience with Morpheus, cutting out a lot of the frustrations involved with headsets currently on the market. The biggest factor to watch for now is content. If Sony can line up interesting games, Morpheus could be the device that convinces millions of people they need VR in their living room.